Hey everyone, Hunter here again. I'm uh, going to do a showcase video on a little model I've done back at the beginning of this year. It was actually for a 24 hour build. Um, what you do is you pick a model kit and you have to have it completed in 24 hours. It starts at 12 o'clock on a Saturday and ends at 12 o'clock on Sunday. And uh, it's a fun thing to, you know, try to accomplish it for one thing. Uh, when you get up to my age now, staying up uh, 24 hours is hard to do. I think I cheated a little bit and took a little nap in between, but I managed to get these things done, uh, which was my third attempt at it. And this year I finally succeeded. So uh, these little saucers are from uh, Pegasus uh, Hobbies. And you get two of them in the kit. I think the kit runs like 15 to 17 dollars, something like that. And I built these two different ways, and you can do the same thing right out of the kit. They, uh, this one here actually sits on the display base on its little landing legs, and this one here is in flight mode. They give you a cap to go in the center here for flight mode, and I mount this on a pin on a brass pin on the display base so it looks like it's flying and, and this one's sitting on the ground um, but it comes with two little aliens uh, I did the aliens in um, Tamaya acrylics and did a little bit of dry brushing on it a little bit of detail work on the interior and used some uh, crystals and uh, jewelry crystals for various places and did some uh, did a paint mask and created the alien writing and all this is sprayed with Tamaya acrylics and the weathering uh, put some streaks underneath of it uh, kind of like little exhaust vents and just random weathering on it. it it came out pretty good now this one here I actually uh, cut this one open and built a little small avionics bay. Get up here so I can get the camera to focus on this thing. There we go. I'm starting to get a better view of it now. And it's uh, just made out of some bits of plastic and a few little pieces of wire and just various materials just to give it some action there and um, you can see uh, where the dash has been dry brushed and did uh, red flocking for the carpet and see I did a little bit different alien writing on this one made the mask up this is also painted with Tamaya acrylics and I did the uh, burgundy faceted jewels underneath of it uh, they actually give you a light ring that pops in here. It's clear plastic. And I just wanted to do something a little different. I actually wanted to add LEDs to this, but being in the time frame it was under, I just uh, knew I wouldn't get it done in time. So I just did it just like this. And it came out pretty good. I'm real happy with it. And uh, I've taken it to a couple shows. And it's... Uh, not really a competition model. It, like I say, it's just something that was thrown together quick. It was a fun build. Uh, actually, one of them things kind of gets you away from competition a little bit. So, uh, but definitely, if you're interested in something space related or you know sci-fi, you know check these little kits out. Uh, the little Pegasus kits are fairly inexpensive, and um, you'll have fun with them. So, uh, hope you enjoyed my little space saucers there, and uh, I've been doing a whole series of. Uh, videos uh, showcase videos on my work and I hope you're enjoying them and if you haven't seen the other ones yet uh, please you know scan down through uh, all of them there and take a look at the ones you might be interested in and I've got some more coming up of my uh, heavy commercial work that I do uh, the tractor and trailers uh, they'll be coming up soon so I thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later